Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. Let's crack on with today's first story, which comes from Transformer Dad, who says, My 39 male wife, 30 female of six years, is upset I lost weight and wants me back to before. Throw away, wife follows me on Reddit. I got married to my wife six years ago when she got pregnant. Ideally, we would have dated for longer than nine months, but it is what it is. And we had our son soon after. Within the few years of our marriage, life was good. I got to learn a lot more about my wife and we got along really well, much more than when we were dating. Then my dad died of a heart attack when I was 35. My dad had just turned 59. This was a reality check and I remember I cared so much because I had my son. And if I wanted my son to have me around when he was 35, I was at least going to have to live to 71 without keeling over from a similar health issue. I went and did a physical and blood work and that I had high cholesterol and high blood pressure. I told the doctor my workout plan and diet and said on my way. Following r slash lose it was really helpful as well as r slash keto. Within a year, I was down to my normal weight and within two years, I had a six pack, something I never had when I was younger. From that point, my doctor told me my health had exponentially improved, but I was thirsty for more. I wanted to look even more aesthetically pleasing. So I got a picture of the 300 cover photo and set about building my body for that Halloween. In that time, I think my wife and I must have grown apart. My wife used to always be fit when we dated, but after having our son, she must have been busy to go exercise. I invited her with me to go work out. I saved up money and built a separate two-car garage behind the house to build a home gym. But she would say she was tired or happy the way she was. I would go for jogs with my son in the stroller and whenever she joined us, she would insist we walk. I asked her to try jogging and she would snap back asking if I don't find her attractive. Of course, I love my wife. I love her as the mother of my child. I love her as the daughter-in-law she is when helping my mother. And most of all, I love her as my wife and how she is forever my companion. This became even more apparent with time. While I would be cooking chicken breast and broccoli for the week, she would say that I should start eating lasagna and fried chicken that I used to eat before. I told her that I didn't want to go back to being overweight slash obese. My BMI used to be 32, and the doctor said that was classified as obese. Now my BMI was 25, borderline overweight, but I am at 10% body fat, so I'm careful with my food. And she got so upset. She asked if I thought she was fat and I calmly told my wife to go ask the doctor because I thought she looked good, but I was biased. After her appointment the next week, she came back home crying. She said her doctor said she was overweight and should consider a diet plan and working out. I thought I would see changes in my wife's behavior, but nothing happened. Now summer has come around and my son is a bubbling ball of excitement and always wants to go to the pool. I take him to the community pool to play with other kids that live in our neighborhood and my wife joins us sometimes. Last weekend, the neighborhood had a pool party and everyone and their kids were there. My wife came and my son and I were having fun, playing in the water and socializing with the people who came there. When we got home, after my son took a nap, my wife walked me into our bedroom and started questioning me. She asked me if I was sleeping with X woman who was there, Y woman who was talking to me or Z woman whose kids I was helping dry off and talking to. I said I didn't know what she was talking about and then she pulled out her phone to show me pictures she had taken from her seat. They were pictures of me smiling and talking to these women. I sat my wife down and told her that I would never cheat. I have a son that she provided me and a wife that I loved and cared so much about. She wouldn't accept that answer though. She said that I must be attracted to those women because they can look good wearing bikinis while she is heavier than them. Her words, not mine. Then she changed the focus to me. She said I was getting all this attention because I was now fit compared to before and it caused me to waver in my fidelity now that other women were attracted to me. My wife told me that she wants me back to my old self when she didn't have to worry about other women and we could be comfortable together. She said she feels this undue pressure to become fit herself and feels like it's too stressful to maintain that lifestyle. Can someone please tell me what to do? I'm not going to lie to my wife but if I am being honest... I think she would be much more attractive if she tried to get back in shape, even just trying. I don't know how I can tell her this without hurting her feelings or making her feel more insecure. Can someone tell me how to approach that? 
And in the comments on this one, a deleted user says, best case scenario, she's insecure and unhappy with herself, her appearance, lifestyle, etc. And she's taking it out on you. She probably thinks she can't improve herself, but you improved yourself. That's busted her idea that it can't be done. Now she feels even worse and therefore acting worse slash more insecure. If you're going to encourage her to lead a better lifestyle, I would never approach it from the appearance slash attractiveness angle. Talk about health. Doesn't she want to live a long time to be here for your child and family? Provide a good example for your child. Doesn't she want to be able to do fun activities with you guys? Doesn't she want to have more energy, better sleep and more positive moods? It sounds like you're already cooking healthy foods for your family. If she's eating them, that's already a step in the right direction. Healthy food can be delicious and easy. It doesn't have to be a chore. Maybe go do more active fun things for fun and hopefully it'll transition to her eventually exercising with you. You guys have a stationary bike. She can just go on the bike and read, watch TV, slash play iPhone games or something. It can even be a nice little break from having any outside responsibilities. A user says your wife probably needs some therapy. This isn't about you, it's about her. She has low slash no self-esteem and is insecure. Why don't you offer to cook all the meals for five days, some good healthy food, and if she enjoys it, you can say, see, that wasn't so bad. When she starts getting good food to fuel her body, she may have more energy to feel like starting to work out with you. Opie says, she goes to a therapist once a month. She doesn't talk about it with me, but I saw a bill one time and connected the dots. I cook only healthy meals for dinner and breakfast and offer to make lunch for her as well. But she said she likes to buy out. I know she also has a snacking habit where she will go through chips and cookies while working. I feel like I've tried all that. I know so far. Another user says that's fucking disgusting for her to ask that of you. Tell her that what she's doing is unreasonable and you've given her no reason to actually believe you are cheating. Being overweight is what it is. And you are so incredibly strong-willed and I, random internet stranger, am very proud of you for improving your lifestyle. Don't let your wife throw all of that away for you. OP says, thank you kind internet stranger. The only other person who has said that they are proud of me is my mum and my son. I showed him a picture of her from before and he said, wow daddy, you used to be so fat, but now you are like Superman. At the same time, I understand where my wife is coming from. Back when we were dating, I was wondering what a beautiful girl like her was dating a guy like me. Six years later, I guess the tables have turned. I think I just need to watch my interactions with other women and make sure my wife does not get the wrong idea. Another user says, if I was your wife, I would miss the old you. Not so much about the weight, but about being on the same level. I'd miss going for walks with our kid. I'd miss the time spent together that you now spend at the gym. I'd miss eating the same food and enjoying it together. You completely changed your life, which is awesome, but that affects many aspects of life. Not just health and appearance, it affects your relationship and you've changed without her. She is left behind. I'm not saying I support her reactions. I think I empathize with how she's feeling. I think if I was her, I'd be very lonely. OP says, I think you're right. I've begun to incorporate morning walks with her after I'm done working out, but I need to do a little more. Next thing I know, a year from now, she'll be waking me up to go for a run. I also need to know that we can indulge here and there. Even when I take her on dates, I always skip out on dessert. And I can see that she might want a piece of chocolate cake or whatnot and feels guilty. I need to start sharing a dessert with her or at least having a spoon or two and sharing the rest with our son. Something. So then OP kindly updates the post and says, thank you everyone for your post and advice. I really appreciate it. I made a few realizations about myself and my relationship to my wife. I wasn't easing my wife into getting into a healthy lifestyle. And I completely forgot that when I started out. I took it very slow. It took me four years to get where I am now. My wife was trying to keep up with my current lifestyle, which can definitely be overwhelming. I was trying to look for the perfect opportunity to talk about this with my wife and to ease the mood a little. I went and bought her favorite bottle of wine and a bouquet. I went to talk to her in our bedroom after our son had gone to sleep and she had these old photo albums. Apparently, she had stopped by our parents' place after work to help them with some summer cleaning and she wanted to keep the photo album to go through their memories. I gave her the flowers and opened the wine and we looked through the pictures while we were cuddling. We were leafing through the pictures and I saw one of a strikingly handsome man in a football uniform holding a girl that looked exactly like my wife when she was 24 kissing him. My wife was so interested in the picture and she started tearing up a bit. I asked her what was wrong and she pulled out her phone and showed me a picture of her parents now. 
They're in their 60s and still in love, but they have lost their shape that they had in their youth. Her dad had a really large beer gut and her mum was overweight, but they were happy. She was saying that when we got married, she was hoping we would be like them. They never worried about losing faith in one another because their attractiveness faded as they grew older, but their love for one another continued to grow. She talked about her old boyfriend who became so popular in college and girls threw themselves at him that he ended up straying. She was worried the same would happen to me because women in the neighborhood started to talk and say they wish their husbands worked on their bodies like I did. She was starting to feel really insecure. Then I took that opportunity. I gave her a kiss and then told her that she loved me when I was fat and women like that never noticed me. She still loves me. But those women just lust. Sure, my eyes might dart. It is physically natural, but I loved her so much, valued our relationship so much and only needed her in my bed. I couldn't even imagine laying with another woman besides her. She started crying tears of joy and I didn't stop there. I pushed onwards. I grabbed the picture of her parents from college, the picture she had of her parents now and a picture of when we started dating on my phone. I told her what her parents did, lose track of their health but still grow old and love each other is one way to live life. I got the chance to see their grandkids but I know the health problems her parents have. Then I brought up my dad and how he wasn't able to spend much time with his grandson and how I want to have the opportunity to see my future grandkids and maybe even great grandkids. I said I wanted her to be by my side. I took a picture of us now and had the picture of her parents and said, why can't this be us when we're in our 40s, 50s, 60s till we die? I told her I loved her, but because I loved her so much, I wanted her to become healthy. She doesn't need to get a pre-baby weight or anything drastic. I told her my story of how I just wanted to get fit, but that developed into a desire to look good too. She admitted that she wanted to get back to her health and, and at the same time she was hoping to stick to her New Year's resolution to lose 20 pounds. We talked, set up a plan, so she is cutting the snacks down to two cookies a day and logging everything she eats and portion control. That was when she brought up her monthly appointment with a psychiatrist. Apparently, she had been going to talk about how she could get over her overeating habits. I felt so bad. I'd neglected my wife and when I was trying to become healthy. But I could have included her in my journey and it would have been so much easier to do together. We set up an exercise schedule every day and she was joking how we should have sex every day to make sure we got our cardio in. I took it in and we had sex the rest of the night. I haven't been as intimate with my wife like I was last night since our honeymoon. I hope to keep the momentum going tonight since we both took a vacation for the long weekend. I took the advice of being more intimate with my wife even outside the bedroom and was kissing her and playing around with her while we were making breakfast today. When I hear a voice shout from upstairs, Daddy, you said you were not supposed to touch girls like that. I ended up having the, when a man and woman are married and love each other so much, it is okay to do that because that is what leads to a baby conversation today. I can still see the shock in his eyes, but it had to happen so I can feel more comfortable kissing my wife and squeezing her butt in front of my son. I'm so glad my wife does not have depression and that we're able to work together to put a plan to get back her health. She was showing me pictures of power couples saying in a year or two she wants to take a picture like that together and I'm glad she has that goal in mind. I also feel ashamed. When I was starting it was to become healthy but I liked the physical changes I saw in my body. Then for my model I picked the Leonidas from 300 but my wife who has restarted on a fitness journey printed out this picture of a husband and wife who are both fit. It just goes to show who loves who more, and I definitely need to work on that. Anyways, thank you so much for the support Reddit. I really appreciate the help and look forward to helping my wife with her journey, so that together we can live a long and wonderful life, seeing our son grow older and his future kids. And I think that's a lovely little update where communication hopefully wins the day. I would love to see an update further down the line when, you know, hopefully they did get fit together and their relationship is a lot stronger then well it seems like it's going well now but it's a lot stronger than what it was but what do you guys make of this situation let me know your thoughts down in the comments below let's move on to another story and our next story comes from wedding drama 2022 and says am i the a-hole for announcing my pregnancy at my sister's wedding i'm 32 my sister is 28 we've always been incredibly close point in case she was the first person i told that i was pregnant besides my husband, of course. 
I told her essentially a week after I got a positive pregnancy test, which was about three months before her wedding. I told her that I was going to tell our parents and my husband's parents around the 10 week mark, as she told me that I should hold off until her wedding in September. I'd be like four months along at that point, so I wouldn't be showing really, and she thought it would be so special for her to be able to make an announcement about a special guest at her wedding, and it'd be her first niece or nephew and my parents' first grandbaby. I agreed because it seemed like it meant a lot to her. And again, we were super close and I was happy to do that for her. Turns out, the first trimester was awful with morning sickness and exhaustion. I would have preferred to have been able to talk about it with my mum, but I was willing to grin and bear it for my sister's wedding. Well, the wedding came along, and about halfway through the night, I asked her when the announcement was happening. She told me that she changed her mind and that her wedding didn't seem like a good time or place to announce my pregnancy. I was obviously super upset since I went through a really awful first trimester with only my sister and husband to lean on, and I decided I wasn't going to put the announcement on hold any longer just for her. So my husband and I pulled my parents aside and quietly told them, and told them to keep it private for the evening. They were thrilled, lots of hugs, a few tears, but a very touching and private moment. Literally no one else found out until I announced it on Facebook a week later. My sister found out around the same time as my Facebook post when my dad mentioned how we told him about it. And she texted me and called me a bitch who made her wedding about myself. And she hasn't spoken to me since. I've messaged her and apologized probably a dozen times since then, but she refuses to talk to me. And now she refuses to come see her little nephew who is almost a month old at this point. My parents and partner think I did nothing wrong since she went back on her word and that I should just wait it out and she had come around. I'm obviously unsure as clearly this has made her so upset with me and we were so close before. Am I the a-hole? Edit. I sent a lot of comments saying that I was trying to be petty, mean, vindictive, spiteful, hurt my sister, etc. And I just wanted to address that really quickly. If I had been any of those things, I would have made sure she found out that I had done it, you know. She's just happened to find out a week later because my dad let it slip. I just desperately wanted to tell my mum and after waiting for over two months for my sister, it really felt like I couldn't wait another moment at the whims of someone who wasn't even involved in the pregnancy. I understand now, though, that I definitely should not have waited to tell my mum about the pregnancy. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and all that. Now, I saw the title on this one, and I've come and I went into it, and I thought, oh, yeah, you're absolutely going to be the a-hole in this. You never announce your pregnancy at someone else's wedding or any other event at someone else's wedding. But it wasn't that way. She wanted to be able to announce it at your wedding. She wanted to say, oh, you know, there's a new member of the family, all this kind of thing. And then waited or didn't and didn't tell you till the last possible minute. You had to ask her when it's going to happen. She said, oh, nah, it's not happening now. I can totally get that frustration that you've waited all this time and then it not happening. And it's mainly because you wanted that support from your family going through that awful first trimester, what it sounds like. And then you didn't even like announce it in front of everyone. You didn't go around shouting it and skipping around. Hey, everybody, I'm pregnant or and stuff like that. You just went up to your mum and dad, took them to the side in a private moment, your mum and dad, and, set, and told them about it. You wasn't making the whole wedding about yourself. Was there the possibility of waiting, you know, till the next day, a few hours to announce the pregnancy? Absolutely. But I don't blame you at all for taking your parents to the side, having a private moment. And telling them right there and then and there's a comment that i'm going to read now which sums up my thoughts pretty much which cemetery dweller says not the a-hole i was all set to say you don't announce that at a wedding thinking you grabbed a mic and told the whole wedding you didn't you told your parents just them they clearly didn't create a fuss at the wedding because your sister didn't even know until a week later when your parents told her you know what happened here right your sister didn't want you to steal any of her wedding thunder leading up to the wedding she saw this as her time and the focus was supposed to be on her upcoming life event, not yours. That's why she told you not to tell anyone at all and then she had announced it at the wedding. I don't think she'd ever planned to announce. It was just a way to keep you from telling anyone so she could be the center of attention for months. Unknown says, man, people really take the whole wedding day is only about the bride thing to a whole new level. Only the grandparents found out about the pregnancy. It didn't eclipse the wedding day at all. Not the a-hole. A Torian scribe says not the a-hole because you told him discreetly after your sister played an obvious trick on you. Clearly, it didn't even make an impact on the wedding because it took her being told it happened to even be aware of it. I don't think she ever intended to make that announcement. 
She just didn't want the attention taken away from her while she still planned her wedding, where she did a really nasty rug pull. She essentially denied you of much needed support during a very touchy time, so her special day remained front and center. Ugh, need a username says, I was all set to say you're the a-hole, but not the a-hole. You wanted to tell your parents, your sister insisted on you, waiting to make it a moment at her wedding. And last minute she changes her mind, so you tell your parents privately. You didn't make a big announcement, now she's mad and won't talk to you. Stop apologizing, you did nothing wrong. And there was also a bunch of comments on this one as well saying that OP could have waited till the next day, a few more hours, whatever. But personally, I don't think it would have, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. But what do you guys make of this situation? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much for being involved. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care and much love.